the car in front of us, its license plates are about two and a half months expired. I saw a prior on this call with a subject who, when I ran him, I noticed his license is also suspended. Hey, how are you? What's up, man? Are you? No, uh, okay. that's my girlfriend. I was on my way to pick her up. Okay. Um, the reason I stopped you, your plates are expired from Yeah, I know. We August. got a ticket the other day. Did you get your license and insurance with you? Well, my license is actually um, expired, but I haven't been able to get a new one. 5501, your subject is revoked out of Tennessee. Can you turn off the car for me? All right. Here's what I need you to do. Go ahead and step out for me. Your license is revoked, but I'm willing to work with you, okay? Oh, as long as you're cooperative, I'm gonna no I'm gonna do what I can for you. Turn around right now. I just gotta handcuff you, okay? Oh. Bring your hands behind your back. Please, is there anything man. illegal on you or in the car? No, is sir. that cool? I check it then. Is that alright? I mean, I I don't have. I mean, it's not my car to give anyone. No, well, you're the one in control of it. Right, but it's it's not my vehicle. I know it's not your vehicle. Right. But it's your girlfriend that you live with. When she gets here, you're the one in control with it. That's well, that's I'm what I'm asking. Going okay, fair enough. I'm gonna have you have a seat up here, man. Making what's kind of a minor thing right now. I'm Turn it. It's, it's like just snowballing, okay? Yeah, You're kind of sketching me out thinking there's something else in this car. <laughs> not out here to be the dime bag police. All right. Most people are like, yeah, go ahead, search your car. Get, it's get, not my car. Get, I get that. You don't have the right I would, to do none of that. I don't have the right to do what? Just tow the car and, and do whatever you have to do. Well, it's an uninsured, unlicensed car operated by someone with a revoked driver's license. And she doesn't have a license. That all matters. And that we can't leave it here in front of the pump. She's going to come and drive it. So, just, just, dude, hear, hear me out. Hear me out. You're, you're complicating this whole situation. I just know my rights. You have no right to search the car. No, actually, sir, that, that's not accurate. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So, that's why I'm asking you just to work with me here. That's you that's all. And me. I'm willing no right to. to search female that regularly drives a vehicle. She's on her way here. I'm going to ask for her consent to search the vehicle. Hi. Hi. Are you? Yeah. This is your car? Yes. OK. Is there anything illegal in the car? No. Do you have any problem with me searching it then? No, not that I know of. OK. No, I don't cool. Know. Looks like narcotics pills and a straw for ingesting it. I would imagine that's what he was worried about me finding. Hey, obviously you know what I found. Because she consented to the search and she's also responsible for that vehicle, I don't want her to get jammed up for you. Oh man, don't do that. So, do you know what I found? Yeah, I have a problem. I need help. Dude, I get that. I that's, need help. that's why I asked you right up front to be straight with no, me. I do, but I have a problem. Right, and that's what I'm saying. You're a user, you do have a problem. What are these pills? Norco 75. Okay, is this heroin in the bag? Um, what is it, like half gram? Gram? Does she know you use it? Yeah. Does she know you use heroin too, or just the just Norcos? The okay. I appreciate you being honest with me, all right? Obviously this- You to give me some help. Seriously. Yeah, a a absolutely, but- I mean, not just saying that, like I seriously need help. I got a baby on the way. Dude, I get She's that. She's pregnant. She's three months pregnant. I understand that. You can't have the baby coming and not spend all our money no. on drugs, you know? Dude, exactly. I get that. I'm actually going to write you tickets out here just for the pills and the revoked license, okay? I'm not charging you with the heroin right now. I'm trying to help you out here, okay? Yeah, so that's... Yeah, it, no, I'm going to release you out here. Under one condition. I think she has a right to know. You said you wanted I to tell her instead of me. Right in front of you, bro. If you legitimately want to get into a rehab facility tonight, we can do that, okay? So if you're thinking about that, call the sheriff's office and we can do that. Hi. Okay. I wrote him some tickets out here. Okay. okay. Um, so I have to tell you. Okay. So I've been doing heroin. And I, need, I want to get help for a baby. You have to help me. Stick with me. I'm going to follow up and determine if he actually does check himself into rehab. And then I will screen this case with the state, leave it up to the prosecutor to determine if they want to charge the heroin also. I explained to him we have many resources to get him help immediately if that's what he elects. If she's aware of it, she should be able to you know, better keep an eye on him through the night and talk him into getting the help he needs.
So this female, who we have a million priors with, is screaming. She uh, is a known drug user. She's just screaming. Come with me. They're going to want to look at your phone. Ah! How are you doing? Did we call 911? What up? It was an accident. Why were you screaming? Oh, me and him were yelling about the garbage. Watch out, watch out. Come here, get out and let them not let mosquitoes in. Okay. What's that guy's name? That's that That yeah. is the love of my life. We fight like crazy. Hey, how you doing, babe? I <laughs> smiling. So why were you outside screaming? Because we're taking the garbage out. Okay. See? And he doesn't know the directions on how to get to the dumpster. He's like, <laughs> said, whatever you do, just don't yell at me. Well, just you were. Patience. You were. And I was yelling at him about oh the garbage. Uh -huh. about, I gave him the directions. It's not that hard. I take care of this whole house by, <laughs> by myself. I know. And I don't ask for anyone's help. You're right. He washed my dishes the other day, and I found grime all over the back of my dishes. I'm not going to put those in my cupboards, and then cockroaches come. No. So he goes, you mean to tell me i got to wash them all yes. over? I said, yes. So I'm going in there to, my pizza's going to burn. i got to wash my dishes all over. Uh -huh. i got to feed the house. i got to take my bath before I go to bed. Do you take a bath every night? Me? What does that tell you? <laughs> Two thumbs up. <laughs> Can you grab his tools behind the door, please? Why? Because he's asking for them. Are you leaving me now? I didn't want to, but they said that you called the police on me. I didn't call the police on you. Well, somebody did. Let's grab his tools. My pizza! <gasps> Hey, she didn't call. Hmm? She didn't call. A neighbor called. It was called in by a neighbor. It said they were outside yelling. It's my boyfriend. We didn't even get to have sex yet. <laughs> Come on. If you didn't call, you guys must have been outside yelling. So don't yell outside, okay? Is that what happened? Yes. So don't don't cause a disturbance outside. Keep it down. down. Outside. Yeah. And well, inside, and if you're definitely make sure it's not heard from outside. Yeah. No more arguments about garbage. Just keep no it inside more. tonight, okay? It'll be done. It keeps her house real clean. So she said he was taking the garbage out incorrectly. So they were arguing about that. They'll be quiet for the rest of the night, I think, and we are good to go. You got it. Peace out. Later, girls. Later. Later, guys. See you, officer. Our complainant is an ex-husband who's calling to check on his ex-wife. The ex-wife was supposed to come over to the house today and pick up their their child, um, but never showed up. So we're not quite sure what's going on, but we're just going to do a check on, on the mother to make sure she's okay. Hello? Sheriff's office. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, I'm looking for a Uh, she's not here. Did she leave, or do you know where she went? I don't know, I just walked in the door. Oh, okay. she's gone, I have no All idea. right. Um, they just asked for me to come out here and check on her, make sure she was okay. Her uh, child was concerned, because I guess she was supposed to pick her up or something like that, and she never came. She put that damn vodka down, I mean, she'd be okay. Told her stuff, didn't she? I don't know why she didn't pick up her kids. I really, literally just walked in the door. She's normally pretty good about picking her, picking the kids up and hanging out with the kids. Or you know what? Kind of depends on the day. It, you know, the father has custody, so that tell you enough. Dispatch just talked to my ear saying mom's on her way back here. And that the complainant, who's the ex-husband, said he just saw her and he thinks that she's intoxicated. How are you? Sounds like you missed your day with your kids or... I was supposed to pick them up. I ran late at work. 
Okay. And my fiance turned my phone off, and I didn't get my message. Okay. Did you uh, did you talk to your ex just a few minutes ago yes. or no? Okay. Yeah. Um, like you said on the phone, he thought you're you're you've been drinking today. Maybe that's why you didn't show up. Have you had anything to drink today or anything? No. I'll take a breathalyzer right now if you want okay. me to. No. I mean, I don't smell any alcohol coming off of yeah, you. Yeah, he told and me he smelled it coming off of me. I don't smell anything coming off of you. Off I was you. gonna say you can um, test me. I don't care. I let have me just, it. Just watch my finger real for, for me real quick. Okay, just the tip of my finger right there. Okay. Ready? Just just watch the finger. Alright, do me a favor, just relax here for a second. She didn't smell like alcohol when she got out of the car. As she stood in front of me, I started getting a little bit of alcohol coming from her. Her eyes are bouncing like crazy for giving me indications that she's been drinking today. What's going on with the I just need for, is that right? I just need you to go grab her driver's license for, for yeah. us, okay? Go, go run in and get her, get okay, her prayer what's, water. what's going on with her? She's a... She pulled up when my partner was here. She went drinking. He got so. Because I know that God and I love the kids. So. Take her phone. The kids could contact her, and maybe you could go. But you'll fuck them too. Whatever. You said you haven't had anything to drink today, correct? Uh, not for the last four or five hours. Did you? What did you have before then? I had a shot of vodka. Just one shot of vodka? Uh. Probably one or two earlier, just to calm my nerves because of everything going on. I'm being very generous. I know, guys. Yeah, you are being because, generous, huh? Because, you know, I don't have time for this. I, know. I really don't. This is embarrassing. My neighbors, <laughs> I'm a St. B's high-class roller in this town. I don't have time for this. I haven't had anything in the last four hours. Okay. Have you ever done one of these before? Never. No? All right. Keep going, 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 keep going. Stop. All right, as I need you to turn around, face this way for me. So you're under arrest for driving under the influence right now. So my main concern right now is that you're going to pick up your kids and you've been drinking. I didn't realize, I thought four hours I would be okay. All right. What a job so you guys can get out of here because this is bullshit. Cars are in my house for crazy shit. I have kids of my own, so I, t I take them very seriously. It hits home a little bit more. It gets more personal when it involves potentially kids as well. It makes me feel like I'm doing a better job when I can take someone off the street who, where the situation is potentially going to involve children. The caller is saying that there are some vehicles parked in the driveway, and she may actually be blocking them from leaving. So we're gonna go see what those vehicles are doing in this lady's driveway. Hi, did you call? Yeah. What's going on? We've asked them not to be here. Who, who is this? Uh, this is at my daughter's house and she was very sick. So who are these people? One is her son and he has all these people here that she told him to leave to. The son doesn't live here? No, she won't hear me phone now. Okay. All right, let me go talk to them real quick. Go ahead. Hi. Do you guys have your IDs? Can you roll your window down a little bit? I live here. Okay. Well, it doesn't sound like that you live here. Man, you better go ask my mama. I live here. Okay. I'm asking. Rela relax. Okay, so can I see an ID to show that you live here? Okay. Hold on. We're going to have to go by name, date of birth then, right? What's your last name? What is your Why are you name? making this so difficult? You tell him what my last name is. Why don't you tell him? He asked you. Yeah, I live here. Oh, you are you not about? living here. Your mother don't want man, you here. Whatever. Anymore. Tell my mama to come out here and say that dick. That's why she ain't said it. So do what y'all gonna do. I'm gonna sue the up. Give a right. going well, on why don't you no stay away from here? Then. Okay. See how disrespectful you are? Why are you even talking? Why are you even talking? Because you need to give the man that I ain't got to do nothing I don't want to do. It's an option if I want to give him my ID. So she, you, you can shut the f up. I, don't tell me to shut up. Because I'll tell him to take you out of there and, and put you in the jailhouse right away. You don't own the police. You, you like a little beat your stupid ass. My mama ain't even out here. I ain't got to give him uh, I send this up. You're going to die a hard death. Yeah, you, you'll die before I do. All right. So I'm going to ask you again for your name and your birthday. What? This is not a trick question. Your name and your birthday. I gave you my name. 
on Okay. Well, I'm telling you right now. This is my address. Right. When you run my name, my address will come right. back here. And I can't run your name. I can't run your name, can't right. run your name without a birthday. Yeah, this is, I'm, I'm only, all right, I'm, I'm telling you right now, you're running out of chances here. My partner's here. You're about to go to jail. I right. said 523. Hey, Deputy King, I believe we're going and taking him into custody. So, Let's step out. Let's Step out. What you taking me into custody? Obstructing. Step out. Obstructing? I told you my name. Fine. Easy. Stop. 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 Hey, Mr. Jill. All right, okay. Right up. Come on. Look at the bad guy. Good? Yeah, we got it. Look at the bad guy. Look at him. Look at him. Are you guys, how are you tied into this? How are you tied into it? Do you live here? You do. Are you the homeowner? All right. Okay, so I'm, I'm just, right, no, no, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what these people are doing here and who needs to be here and who doesn't. Do you, sure. Okay. Okay. Whatever, absolutely, man, whatever you need. Okay. Does your son live here? As of yesterday, he was supposed to be moving. Okay. Technically, he does stay here sometimes. Okay. It's not an issue. He can be here, but the problem is he's not IDing himself when I'm trying to figure out who he is or if he belongs here. Mm -hmm. Your son, I, he is going to be arrested for obstructing, but otherwise everyone else is just going to be told to leave. All right, when I talked to uh, the grandmother and mom, who's the homeowner, uh, they both said that they didn't want any of those Why people at the house, you know, due to her illness. I mean, it is hard dealing with unruly people. Uh, I think one of the best things to do is just basically be patient with it. Um, whether or not they like the police or respect the police, ultimately the, the cooperating is, is what's going to get things done. Fifty-five at one. I'm location at Nelson Marina. Hey, how are you? Oh, that's you. How you been? I want an assistant to get to Go get ahead. to get uh, remove my dogs because I, when I was in war, animal control called me and told me to to, to remove my dogs today and they're gonna be in the animal control. So she has an order of protection granting her the dogs. So we're gonna go with her to get her dogs back from the property. Make sure everyone's peaceful and get out of here after that. Hopefully. One by one, got it. And I have to get the food and, and dishes. Oh, this is serious. You see this? Wait. Hold on, hold on. I'm going okay. to grab Skippy. Okay. Skippy boy. Is that the one that bit Yank? Yeah, they like are not She told me they were really friendly. No, they're not. Wait, wait. I'm eating one dog. Oh, my. Well, then let's go. I'm missing one dog. Okay. I, I'm not the dog police. Listen, he's not gonna keep my days. Do you have the? I have five dogs. Now we gotta run away. <laughs> hey, Yank, can we find hey, out where Luca. Daisy is? Luca. That's what I'm trying to find out. Oh, that one's gone. Hello, Dave. Lucas, Lucas, come here. Lucas, Lucas, do you want a treat? Lucas, do you want a treat? dogs back and all the property for the dogs. She said it's a conspiracy as to where her other dog is. Whether it's in the house or not, I don't, I don't know, but it was definitely entertaining watching Deputy Loeb try to chase his dog after it snipped at her. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Super 
successful dog capture. Harmon's gonna cover you. <laughs>